Welcome back to another game of Age of Conquerors. In the Red, we have Jay Vicure playing as the Celts, I believe, yeah. off the top of my head. Yes, playing as the Celts. And in the yellow, we have Carlos Afundaland playing as the uh, Goths, which is normal for him. So, it is a non-mirror match-off. Straight off the bat, you should be able to tell that, considering I said two different sieves and I didn't say Huns in one of them. But, there we go. So, it's a not mirror matchup, which everyone always loves to see, so that's the reason I picked to do this game, even though it's not the highest of high-level games. So let's have a quick look at the surrounding. For Jay, what do we have? We have the gold towards the side here, stone at the back, and nice forest there. Apart from that, though, it's not looking like another good wood source, so he's going to have to go to this one over here, and I don't think he's going to be able to put up a second lumber camp anywhere else, because the chances of harassment are very high in these locations. They are going to be incredibly hard to wall. And it's just not going to be safe. This area over here gets harassed. Sending those villages back to the town center will take quite a bit. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a town center go up over here, actually, later in the game. So he's got that extra wood source. But until then, I don't think we'll see him using it. This gold as well, not a bad position. But again, if Carlos gets some archers up here, going to be quite hard for Jay to take it back if he can't outmass. Same deal with the stone, but the stone being towards the back here. The back of the actual map here for Jay. Going to be quite easy to wall off if he wants to, so he shouldn't be too worried about anything coming around the back if he decides to wall off there. However, the rest of it, it's quite open, especially this area in the front here. He's not going to have a lot of fun there. Could potentially, though, wall off between all these cliffs. However, that is a giant wall off, and the time that's going to take for villagers to do that, it's going to be absolutely pretty crazy. And making sure to get that house down before the population blocks himself. So, Carlos, let's see what you've got. You've got this stone to the back here. You've got this wood over here, which isn't in the worst position. He has two, so he's not too bad in that location. However, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a second one come up on this one over here, actually. Uh, not too bad for walling options. He can definitely wall off across here across the front and across here, maybe use that stone and across here, but again this is still a pretty big area to be in. Uh, gold, where was that? Gold towards the front uh, on the, and on the hill which is absolutely crap for him, meaning again if Jay manages to come down here we'll be able to kill off any villagers on there and again will be hard for Carlos to fight uphill which is never something we like. Uh, anything else really interesting to point out? Well the berries are at the back as well, kinda of forward for Jay so it doesn't really matter. Depends on if anyone decides to rush, and I just heard a barracks come up for J. Carlos, have you got your barracks up yet? No, you don't. This may not be good for Carlos unless he gets that barracks up pretty quickly. Two militia being created currently. One already created. Second, oh, we only see the third should. Yes, there we go. There's the third militia. And Carlos moving forward with villagers. Looks like we are going to see Carlos go forward here. Let's actually just check the way quickly. No wolves there. So here we go, if these militia come out and catch these villagers, Carlos is potentially in a lot of trouble. And again, if he doesn't have anything at home to defend, potentially a lot of trouble as well. Looks like he's actually going for the 5 militia rush, which is really deadly to have. And Carlos right now, coming in through this section over here, let's actually see if he manages to get these militia to turn around. And attacked by wild animals down over here while hunting deer. And let's see, what's his plan? He hasn't seen Carlos yet, or at least I can't see him on the mini-map there. You can see the scout there. Uh, Carlos, 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 what is your plan? And it looks like these militia are coming back right about now. Looks like we can see what's happening over here. Let's have a look what Carlos is up to. What are you doing? He's going to tower that gold, and it looks like... Yep, he has been spotted. So the militia are on their way back for Jay to help defend off this section over here. Villagers being taken off the production here to try and aid in taking down this tower. Not going to be helpful at all for our friend Jay. And militia over here taking quite a bit of damage from this tower. However, it looks like Carlos is going to not go do too well in this fight, honestly. Neither player advancing up yet. Carlos, are you not? You are not. Uh, villagers here should be able to... Get out. Looks like Carlos actually just advanced then, which means we are going to see the man at arms from Carlos. Of course, he's still not going to be able to put up enough damage against these militia. Militia, of course, absorbing this damage from the tower without too much trouble, only having five attack at this current time. And when militia start off with one PSR, you know they're going to be pretty much alright. Uh, tower actually currently being rebuilt by Carlos, so he's just trying to hit these villagers off for as long as possible. Take it in mind, there is six villagers trying to take down this tower. Carlos only brought four forward. So, in this, Carlos is actually doing quite well. He's probably doing better than his opponent right now. However, his opponent still hasn't advanced up, which means he's probably going to have the score lead. Let's see, Jay, are you going up? Still not going up. 
only on 180 food as well. This is going to be a really late advance from Jay. Callus has done a great job here actually to slow him down really well. So let's speed it back up and see what happens here. Village is being sent back to food, which of course he really needs due to the fact that he's so far behind at this stage. Callus could be going up with the archeries already. However, it doesn't look like he is. Uh, Barracks is getting walled in here. Hopefully that won't be too big a deal. And Men at Arms up here should be able to do quite a bit of damage to the militia. However, it looks like they will be killed off without too much trouble. And there we go. Actually, Men at Arms are actually managing to get this right now. Villagers are in a bit of trouble because we do know how well villagers fare against Men at Arms. And that's not very well at all. Militia they can do, uh, but when they get swords, armors, and shields, that's a little bit harder. And these guys here, unable to do anything because, well, they've been walled in. And down goes this bit of Palisade wall here. So we've seen a great man in arms for us here from Carlos. And it's just it kept Jay down so much longer. Jay, let's see what we, we're on Jay currently. Uh, militia, more militia coming across here. It looks like he's going to be in a bit of trouble. Mainly due to the fact that all he's got is militia and villagers to try and fight off this man in arm. I mean, there's six there. Maybe even more now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven militia. Seven men in arms, sorry. Up against a villager and a militia. Let's see who manages to plan it out here. Not going to come down a lot to micro. Going to come down to making sure they're all attacking targets as quick as possible and losing as little as possible. Villagers, of course, not having that aggressive stance, so they will be killed off quite quickly. And that village there being unlucky enough to get attacked by men in arms and a wolf right there. Looks like Carlos is definitely doing well here. And Jay really needs to get up to the next age right now. It's It's got to be ridiculous. It's 16 minutes in and Jay still has not advanced up to the next age. Let's just run this up nice and quick. Looks like this area here could come under attack quite quickly. Carlos doing a lot of harassment with these Man at Arms currently. Could potentially take down this bit of Palisade here because we do know that Man at Arms do get a bonus versus Palisade. And unless Jay is nice and quick on that, he's not going to be able... Ooh. These two villages here being taken off gold to this. So, so Carlos is getting a small win here. And he's going to force all these Palisades here to be constantly repaired right now. And this is really hurting Jay right now. He's still not up into feudal. It's currently 18 minutes in. Carlos is doing an amazing job right here. And I can't believe he's held Jay down into just feudal age for so long right now. It's actually ridiculous. And it looks like this mining camp here will go down. Oh, it's so close. And it's going to go down, definitely. And there we go. Villages in here are just meat right now. Being just trapped in here by these men at arms. That's four villages less for our friend Jay right now. And just kill them off nice and slowly, I guess. Up here, Carlos, have we seen anything else? We've seen a second barracks back at home for Carlos. He has gone up with the blacksmith. Let's check those upgrades nice and quickly. He has got the armor upgrade, which is most likely, well, which is the most important upgrade to have at this stage. So it means he's able to walk past that town center now if his opponent doesn't garrison it. And of course, having that two armor, it is really going to help. Uh, wouldn't be surprised actually to see him start attacking these houses or maybe come around this side here and try and get into here. And Jay's just had so much trouble this entire game so far. Carlos has been pushing on really well and he's going to need to get that man and up arms upgrade, which he currently is until he can take on Carlos. However, right now Carlos just has free gold income. He's got as much as he wants going. He's got enough man and arms here to do sufficient damage. This house over here potentially in trouble, so let's speed this up again while we are waiting for this house to get killed off. Stone wall coming up here, that's got to be a last resort right now. But still, taking out this house. Oh, there's something big. Walking straight past that town center there without taking much damage at all. This man at arm potentially going to take some damage. And no upgrades you've got to remember on these just man at arms for a J. So these ones here should be able to do quite a good job. However, he is focusing down the villages, which again is really important. Just because it takes so much more time to get those villages out. Because every village you have to replace is absolutely ridiculous. Jay going out with some archers now, which is a pretty good thing to do at this stage. Even though they do have that two armor, they will be able to start a step away. And they should be able to do quite a bit of damage. Jay coming out of this fight over here, probably on top. Even though he lost a few villages in that fight. But still, Carlos's economy should be in a lot better shape right now. Uh, yeah, just lots of food, minimal gold, lots of wood. I wouldn't be surprised actually to see a large skirmisher mix coming out of him soon. And it looks like Carlos is going to go for the hill advantage here, and he's going to try and get this advantage here. Archers, of course, going to be really pushing Jay um, forward, and Carlos back, because those archers, he does not want to be messing with them at this stage. They may only have four attack, and these guys may have two armor, but still, they can walk away very, very slowly and turn around and attack without too much trouble. And Man at Arms here. He's keeping this gold and stone locked down quite well, though. It's forcing 
uh, Jay to go off to another source or not even get any at all. Yes, he's been forced over to here to get his gold, which again is a really bad location to have. Carl is going to transition right now into some other units, most likely skirmishes at this stage, because he does have quite low gold if we actually check. Yes, he will do to that large man at arms. So, man at arms and skirmishes is always a giant, well, it's actually a really good military force to have in a few later. Probably the most powerful, in my opinion. But the fact of that, it's right way down by the fact that man at arms are so slow. If man at arms were faster, there'd be a lot of, I would expect to see a lot of skirmisher man at arms mix. However, again, the food count on that, it does really hurt. But if you can get that food nice and high, you should be able to do quite well. So the double archery range, I haven't seen a blacksmith yet, though, by the looks of things. There is a defensive tower over here, though. However, if those man at arms can get close enough, shouldn't be able to do too much damage. And looks like he's going to be pushed back over here. Of course, not having that ballistics means most of these men at arms will get away unscathed. Taking a few arrows there by the looks of it. However, of course, not having that blacksmith. Actually, yes, having that blacksmith upgrade. Where's this blacksmith that I. Yes, I blatantly missed it. Or it just got created because there's a villager standing right next to it. But again, Carl is still trying to push this advantage he has. I think at the moment he probably should retreat and go up to the castle. Just due to the fact his opponent's got these archers out. This tower up here is going to be really messing with the amount of harassment he can do. So that's probably his best option in my opinion. He is, of course, getting those skirmishes out though, keeping that population up. Currently 61 population for Carlos, Jay only on 55, so you can see the difference right there. Especially with the army count as well. Scout there should be taken out without too much trouble, and it looks like forcing the wall off over here from Jay as well. So let's speed it back up, because as we know, man and arms are extremely slow. And Scout over here going to be taken out, and ooh, going for the engagement here. This could change things. If he can take out these archers right now, it's going to really hurt Jay. However, lots of these men at arms are on quite low health, and they are managing to focus down. However, losing quite a few archers here, they're all starting to get on low hit points, and Kali's starting to get some free hits here on the retreat. And that archer there getting killed off, and I don't think he's going to be able to catch him now. Let's have a look. Unless something doesn't happen, more archers up on this hill. And once that hill bonus comes into play, of course, Carlos wants nothing to do with it. But he's got quite a few skirmishes out now, so he should be able to defend off from these archers without too much trouble right now. Setting these guys down, looks like we have Jay finally moving out to try and get some damage onto Carlos' economy. However, I don't think that's going to happen with these skirmishes here. Surprised we haven't seen the next arm upgrade on them yet, actually. But we can see that Jay has taken his advantage to try and do that. And Carlos getting onto gold now. And if we look, we've actually got Jay going up to Castle Age. Carlos is up as well, so it's really close timings there. Despite Jay having such a low feudal, t well, high feudal time, he has been able to make up for that. These villages over here just getting away from these guys. Skirmishes over here should be able to deal. We do have a large amount of skirmishes moving out right now, so there could be quite a bit of harassment from Jay right now if he's, if uh, if Carlos isn't careful and doesn't lock down his villages in time. And it looks like these villagers are going to engage, honestly. Skirmish is just soaking up a lot of this damage, of course. But again, when you're outmassed so much, you can't. there's not a lot you can do. And trying to kind of send out a runner there, but not being totally effective, because of course skirmishes don't move that fast. When you're this close, there's not a lot you can do. Using these villagers here to do some damage, which is really interesting. You don't usually see this. And I'm surprised that Jay's trying to focus down the villagers right now, because that would probably be the best he could do. And it looks like... Jay having to retreat off here is something really interesting. Going down the hill as well, he's going to lose that bonus, and these skirmishes will do a little extra damage. Over here, the man at arms did bust into this section over here, so they are going to be able to force all of Jay's units back to his base to start mining again on this camp over here. Again, though, no, going to be able to get harassed by that without too much help. Did he lose any villagers over here? Looks like there was one villager lost. Can't see a lot else. Skirmishes, of course, going to be able to do quite a bit of damage, and Jay should be going up any second now, if I saw the... Castellage time correctly. Yes, so he's about to go up. He's still a little bit behind Carlos, but not as much that it makes a huge difference. Skirmishes are going to be absolutely great. We should be seeing the Long Swordsman anytime soon. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see the Elite Skirmisher, just because we can see that Jay's using such a big archer mix. There's a crossbow, no Elite Skirmisher yet. We are seeing that plus two attack on them, though. We have finally seen that uh, extra defense bonus on them. And Longsword upgrade has been done right now, so they should be able to take out this tower right now if he's not careful, because they do get that attack bonus, and that's absolutely really, really good to use against buildings. But the only hard thing is, of course, they do do... Well, they are a slow-moving unit, so they've got to close in on these towers before they can really do anything. And slowly getting taken down here. Not a lot they can do against it. These villages here all being taken off wood right now. 
And this town center going up on this gold, very smart idea. However, right now, it is really bad because of the fact that he's lost this wood source over here. And that's so important, like I said at the start of the game. He's going to have to put a town center up over here or here or maybe even back down over here somewhere. And just be able to get wood in, which is not a great thing to have. Of course, these guys already have the plus two armor on them, so they are pretty much res pretty resistant to these crossbowmen until they get that extra plus two. Then they'll start to take some real damage. However, it does look like this tower is going to go down. It's being rebuilt. Uh, but these villagers are actually getting killed off. And there's the tower actually going down. Skirmish is dealing with those crossbows nice and quickly. We're actually seeing a great game out of Carlos so far, doing something that's not the usual. Uh, well, it's the usual for him, but for other people, it's not the usual. And Skimish is over here dealing with these villagers again. Going to be able to take them out a lot. And wouldn't be surprised actually if Jay resign anytime soon. And there's the GG from Jay. He hasn't been able to keep up with this game at all. Carlos has just managed to put in so much damage starting from the early. Those long swordsmen and man at arms and militia, they did such a good job in the early game. So I hope you enjoyed this game and I'll see you in the next game.